we made our way into Yellowstone National Park and we're gonna fish the Lamar River here this afternoon and hopefully get into a lot of fish. Jamo, what are you digging for, bud? A. Okay, that's important. Can't fish without the sacrament. Oh, there Indeed. it is. We brought it back out. Look at that. Now she's ready. All right, Joe is taking two rods with him and he has a fancy, look at this, clip it on there. Plastic. Look at that, that just clips right on there. And he is ready to go. of the Lamar. Last time Joe and I were here in this relative same spot, we, uh, we had an epic day. Uh, we started that day off with a video documenting what we were going to use, so we thought we'd do the same today. A little different approach. I'm going to start with the barrel ant. I'll throw that along the banks, undercut banks, and dropped off of that. I've got a little Pertagon nymph. Joe's going to take that same Pertagon nymph and bounce it on the bottom. Right, right there. Anyone can see it. Reason being is we see some olive colored mayflies already in the water. And then, in addition to his Pertagon, he's going to have an emerger. Man, this guy is tiny, small, little tiny. Beta Submerger. So we got the top covered, we got the bottom covered, we got the surface film covered. We should figure this out pretty quickly. Of course, we got Dave fishing below us. Not sure what he's using, but there is a chance he could crack the code before us. A chance. <laughs> Just so happens, Dave cracked the code. Let's go see what he figured out. It didn't take long after Dave got into one. Uh, I got one on the black Pertagon as well, except it came up, this guy came up after the, uh, after the hopper pattern, and uh, that's when I set the hook, and it turns out, yikes, it turns out he had the Pertagon already in his mouth, so nice, nice beautiful fish, beautiful cut for it on this guy, nice cold water. This is unprecedented. I'll take the net. He got two on the same cast. That's awesome. Here, I'll net him. Really? That's one fish. Uh, hey, the other one was just coming by him a lot then. It's a nice fish though. All right. Oh yeah. First fish on the dry fly. Little, little cutthroat, but still, still got him. Easy. All right, little guy. We got Pertagons on, we got dry flies on. This guy just came up and ate it. Nice and easy. Nice and easy guy. Oh, the fly just came out. Dave and I are working the dry fly on a nice cloudy overcast day. We're uh, using the purple haze. You see that guy right there? Mm -hmm. A little bit of purple underneath there. All right. Looking good. Let's go get another one. You got it. 
All right, Dave is working the dry fly action here on the Lamar River. There we go. Should be coming right up. There it goes. Oh, did you see it hit it? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we're, talking about we're talking about the cast stroke and, and that fish came right up and snagged it. Oh, good fish. I got Dave using the, uh, the purple haze. Uh, it only took a couple casts. He's gone, Augie. And the fish, darn it, fish Houdini. is gone. We'll have to do it again. That's it. <laughs> that fish got out of our net. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just go out there and get another one. Beautiful Lamar Valley behind us. It's always a good day when you're dry fly fishing. Make sure you got control of your line so when you see that fish come up, you don't have too much slack on the water. go. That'll work. All right, we're going to move out to the foam line here. Come on, fishing. Come on. You may not have even done that. All right. Like that. It's hard to know. I mean, it's close to where my, thing, my fly was, but I didn't do anything. They're, yeah, they're coming up like crazy right now. Dude, I'm coming back down here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on up. There's plenty of room. All right, Joe came up to uh, check out the action. He caught a nice one down there. Help Dave. Help Dave net this one. Do we let that fish go? No, nope. goodbye. Joe's downstream. He's working on a hole. Uh, he's having pretty good success. He said he caught one. You said you caught one earlier? Did. I got him right here at the mid middle of the pool. I was actually picking up my line to recast. And there was a fish on there. So it was very nice. It's like an 18 inch cut through. Nice. nice. Fish are definitely looking up today. Uh, first it was the hopper. Uh, then it was the purple haze. Now I'm getting them on the now I'm getting them on the ant pattern. Nice fish. Another nice golden Yellowstone cutthroat. All right, Augie's got one on here. Had it on a dry. Little bugger. Just nipping at it. Here we go. We got doubles. I got them all on camera, boys. One. Same net. See if you can pull this off, boys. Well done. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Look at that. This time, Joe, they're the same size. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Alright, I, I don't know who's who's. Well mine still has a hook in Yours is that one. Alright, so what'd you guys get them on? I got mine on a purple ant pattern. Okay. Mr. Bill, what and about you? Bill. Mine is a green drake. Green drake. Nice. Good choice. Alright, let's fish it fine. That fish is yours. Still, still the hook. See those fish if you can. Go. Get it up, Bill. Alright, get Oh no, uh, we just got to a boat. Gosh, that's all right. No! Oh, let him go. Go on. That's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Get him in there, Jameson. It, it technically was triples. All right, Jameson. Nice. Another fish. I thought I was trying so hard to get triples. So close to Good triple. job, guys. So close to triple. So, Jameis, this is fish like 21 for him today. Ah, He's believe. cranked it today. All right, here we go. Okay, all right, guys, look. Got it. All right, release. Nice. All right, Eric's got into one here. Appropriately enough in the honey hole. And he just got off. Huh. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, Eric's got one on. Eric doesn't have his net. That's a pretty nice fish. Joe's coming in for the net job. Here Much we go. better than the last job. Yeah, all right. Good. Joe Nash on the dry fly board. That's a good, good golden cutthroat. 
All right, we need a net man. We need a net man. It's a good golden cutthroat. Bill Jurgens coming in on the network. Beautiful scenery. We got that fish. Excellent. Yeah, look here. Yes, got it. Jameson's turn. He's got my rod, my Drake mackerel on. All the guys are watching. We're all coaching him. No pressure. Come on, buddy. Come on, me lady. Come on, me lady. And you're done. Come on. Shut up in my backswing. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Have you no decency? All right, in the meantime, Jameson broke off my Drake mackerel. Feel the net man's back on duty for Joe. Joe's spirits are getting lifted again. Small ones are way harder to catch. Way harder to catch. That's, that's what the guide said. All right, we got them. We got doubles. We got one on. Jameson, I'm going to come down here and get this. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Bring him in. Oh, Sorry, it's all right. It's all right. We'll get him. We'll get him. I got a fish on my line. Go. Take care of yours. This I guy's. Got, this guy's. Mine. Oh, here. Get. I've only caught two today. Give me your pole. I'll get the feeling. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a fish, dude. Yeah. That's nice job. <laughs> I don't want a double footage of this. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a double of this one. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Fair doubles. Frog. Uh, we got doubles, buddy. Nice. Check, check out this guy I got. The Lord has been good to us today. <laughs> the Lord has been <laughs> particularly good to some of us. Oh, oh, oh look at that. <laughs> nice. Hold him up. <laughs> look this at me. This is not even fair doubles. Look at me. Uh -huh.